It's one day after the world commemorated World Down Syndrome Day and when all those socks come off, there are things that remain. The fight, the determination of the founder of the Down Syndrome Family Network to get his son and all others like him the life the respect and the inclusion they deserve. Glenn Niles, founder of the Down Syndrome Family Network, told Health Check his son Tyrese is allowed to live life just like anyone else. He said their wants and needs are the same. He explained to treat them as though they are special is to deny them the right to a normal life. And they are considered special and they are treated special. So it's as if they don't have any potential to do anything, be anything, learn anything. Mr. Niles said the first step to giving his son that life initially didn't come easy. He explained it was a process for him and his family, one that has helped and assisted him in getting others to walk the journey and feel less alone. It took me a while to educate myself and learn about Down syndrome to realize that it has nothing to do with you, really. With Tyrese popping in briefly to say hello to Health Check, his father told us his family's priority and the priority of the DSFN is to ensure Tyrese and others living with Down syndrome are included and lead regular daily lives, lives that include responsibilities and even recreation. They are actually people just like us. They actually have different feelings, different moods. And for those new to the journey of raising a child diagnosed as having Down's syndrome, Mr. Niles explained that love and acceptance go hand in hand to raise these beautiful humans. Inclusion doesn't mean more work for the teachers. It's just mean a, a better society because people get to learn and meet and interact with persons with disabilities and realize that they can function give your children as many opportunities as you can for you to see what they could do. Before the pandemic, Tyrese, now 23, was employed at Aeropost as a warehouse attendant and as a custodian at a gym. At home, he contributes by taking responsibility for himself and engages in chores around the home. He's also in the process of learning how to drive and will soon be the holder of a driver's license. Mr. Niles' desire for his son and others like Tyrese include consistent understanding, acceptance and inclusion for all. I am Crystal Wilson with your TTT News Health Check.